and welcome to Nana's Crafty Home. My name is Tanya. Today's tutorial is going to show you how to make this easy spider web. This pattern is easily customizable to size. Just keep growing your web to the size that you want. And it also pairs really well with my small spider applique pattern that you can also find as a free pattern on my website. And I also have a complete tutorial for this applique. And you can find all the links below in the description of this video. I am using a medium worsted weight white yarn in Red Heart with Love and a size J or a 6.0 millimeter crochet hook. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a magic circle. You would not need to make a magic circle. If you choose, you could go ahead and chain four, slip stitch to that first chain to form a ring, and then follow the instructions as we proceed. So make your magic circle and chain four. One, two, three, and four. That's going to count as my first double crochet plus a chain one. And now I'm going to work a double crochet chain one seven times in my magic circle. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and just continue until you have a total of eight stitches plus a chain one. That's going to include your first chain four. So let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more double crochet, chain one. So you're going to have a total of eight stitches, again, including that initial chain four. So eight stitches plus a chain one after each one of those stitches. And now I'm going to slip stitch into the top of that chain three. So I'm going to, in that chain four, slip stitch into the chain three and I've completed round one. Round two, chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. That's going to count as a double crochet plus a chain three. Now I'm going to work a double crochet chain three in each double crochet stitch from that previous round. So in the top of that next double crochet, work a double crochet chain three, one, two, and three, double crochet in the top of that next double crochet stitch, chain three, double crochet in the top of that next double crochet, chain three, double crochet, top of that next double crochet stitch, and chain three, and just continue on working a double crochet in each double crochet stitch from that previous round and then chaining three in between all the way around. And you'll see here how repetitive this pattern is, so how easy it would be for you to customize this to any size. So when we get to the end of the round, we're going to slip stitch into the third chain of that chain six. And round two is complete. For round three, I'm going to chain eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Work a double crochet in the top of that next double crochet stitch and then chain five. So double crochet in the top of that stitch, chain five, one, two, three, four, and five, and repeat on around. Double crochet, chain five, double crochet, chain five, double crochet, chain five, double crochet, 
chain five, double crochet, chain five, double crochet, chain five, and then when I get to the end of the round, slip stitch into the third chain of that initial chain eight, and there is round three. A super repetitive pattern. So you're just going to continue growing each round. At the beginning, you'll add two chains to the previous number of chains. So for round three, we worked a chain eight at the beginning. So for round four, I'm gonna add two and chain 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And I'm going to work a double crochet in the top of that next double crochet stitch and a chain seven. So I'm adding two chains to the chain five of the previous round and chaining seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So you'll just repeat that on a round, working a double crochet, chain seven in each of these stitches all the way around. So that's how easy it is to grow. Each round you'll just increase by two chains at the beginning and then two chains in between each of your double crochet stitches in order to continue making a flat lacy web. I do recommend blocking your web uh, with a wet block at the end. It opens up your web nicely, it opens up your stitches. This, this web here has been blocked. So you can see how nicely it lays, how it opened up, and you can really see the laciness of the web. I have a link below for that as well. If you've never worked a wet block, it's very simple. Once you're done, you can use these webs for decoration, add your spiders wherever you want, sew them into place if you're using those, and so lots of different things that you can use these webs for. I hope you found this tutorial helpful today. Thanks so much for being with me. As always, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you never miss a new video. Head on over to nanascraftyhome.com for all kinds of brand new patterns. Thanks everyone. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.